Hi ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mitchell Berry and today I'm going to be presenting on ISEC. But before I tell you anything about ISEC, I have a question for you. What is something that you think everybody in this world deserves? What is something that you think is the most important question in life? Or to you? So just think about that. And the next slide I have an answer from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Life's most urgent question is, what are you doing for others? That's what Martin Luther King thinks. And as we all know, that definitely shaped his life. You know? And I want to have an impact on people. No matter how big, how small that impact is, I want to go somewhere for somebody and have something that they will remember me for, right? And I hope you guys do too. So now I'm going to get to what ISEC actually is. You're probably wondering at this point, aren't you? So who, what, when, where? Everybody, everywhere. And we want to help people in whatever you're passionate about. Okay, and so unlike most NGOs, this is a service uh, volunteer uh, organization that works with the UN actually. And we uh, provide a chance for you guys to pick what you're passionate about. And I'll get more into that later. But why am I credible to be telling you about uh, service learning and volunteering over in, uh, abroad? I was fortunate enough to go to Nepal this is me at a Nepalese school with my peers. And I went for Habitat for Humanity, which is not the same thing as ASEC. Although I love Habitat for Humanity, I think there's definitely some things that ISEC has that separates it from other things like Habitat for Humanity. So, as we all know, Habitat for Humanity provides habitats for humanity. So, they build houses, essentially. And this is great. And I built a house for a women's group in Nepal. But the problem with that is you're building the house and you don't really see who you're helping until the end. And you only see them maybe once or twice when they have the uh, community get together. And I would actually say that the most important thing for me while I was in Nepal was going to this school. This was probably the most formative experience for me, seeing these kids, interacting with them, and not just uh, you know, building a house. I know it's important to build a house, but I'd much rather be with the people there and make a connection with them. And so that kind of brought me towards ASEC and brought me towards wanting to do something where I can have a more uh, hands-on experience and get to make uh, you know, long-lasting relationships with the people involved. So when I was saying we follow your passions, this is what I meant. So these are all the things that ISEC is uh, tackling. No poverty, zero hunger, good healthcare, well-being. If you're a computer guy, like Liam, and you are passionate about IT, you can go somewhere like the Philippines and teach people how to, uh, you know, computer literacy who have never seen a computer. If you're passionate about teaching kids uh, like me, I'm actually going to Argentina this summer for six weeks to teach kids English and hopefully work on my Spanish. I'm not by any means fluent in Spanish, but hopefully I'll become fluent after this summer and I'll open up some opportunities for those kids too. Um, sustainability. You know, if you're a doctor, you can go give vaccines in Pakistan to uh, polio vaccines, whatever. And we really pander to whatever you guys' interests are. We have reduced inequalities, gender equality, everything. So uh, 1 to 17, you pick what appeals to you most. So what are we going to do for you? If sending you somewhere isn't enough, we're also going to do it for $400. That's how much it costs to do this for six to eight weeks. That's accommodations and food. All you get to pay is the uh, $400 plus uh, airfare, and then you're good to go. And we're also affiliated with the UN. So this is an excellent, excellent, excellent resume builder. People are always gonna be like, hey, man, what were you doing in Morocco? What were you doing in Venezuela? Tell me about that. So it's gonna look good for you too, and you're gonna get a job <laughs> from this. Or at least they're gonna ask you about it in your interview. And it will change and build a better you. So what do I mean by change and build a better you? These are the things that we want you to gain from this. So we want you to be able to empower others, communicate effectively in diverse environments. So people may not have the same language as you. People may, things that are appropriate in American culture may not be appropriate in their culture. And that's very important to understand and be able to work with. Also, we want you to be solution oriented. We're gonna to have to learn resilience. For example, if you go to Venezuela and you're teaching at a school which is an hour away with no bus, you have to find a way to get there, how you can get there. That's going to teach you how to be self-independent 
and show you a, how to have empathy for people who actually have to do that every day. And we want you to be self-aware and world citizen. These two things kind of go together, I think. They show you where you belong in your society and in the world, and they just make you aware of how you fit in and how you can help other people around the planet. So why the world needs this? So I put these two pictures up here of some South American children, and I like his little hat because it's really colorful and beautiful, and I think there's a lot of cultures that need to be exposed more. And I think the world is kind of in this phase of globalization where we're coming out of our shell. Everybody's coming out of our shell, and uh, people want to become connected. So I think it's great for us to be ambassadors and for the people there to be ambassadors for themselves and to be advocates for themselves. So what you can do to help this world be more cooperative, peaceful, equal, and just better for these people in these uh, bad environments or environments with less opportunity than ours, is you can go there, diffuse your culture, they can learn from you and you can open opportunities and you can learn about them and bring their culture back here and tell and spread it around here. So that's a great opportunity for just making the world a better place. And you will see the world in a new way. This is a really good quote. Going to ASEC is a, a destination is very different than going to a destination as a tourist. So you won't just be looking at all the beautiful things. You'll also be gaining connection with the local population. Although it's not all work. You will be able to go to, for example, in Argentina, I'm going to Iguazu Falls on one weekend. That's like a Nairi Falls in Argentina. So I'm really excited about that. And these are a couple things that we really strive for, teaching, fixing, cooperating, and helping. So thank you very much. I appreciate you all coming. And uh, so there's a couple things I've talked to you about is why ASEC needs you, what it will do for you, it'll help you on your resume, help you change your perspective on the world, and it will also just open up so many opportunities. So thank you very much, appreciate it. Any questions?